Hi, fishkeeping people. Welcome to another episode of, of Fishkeeping Jamaica. Well, today um, it's just a small video, a, a short video, should I say, where we're looking at the common pleco. Now, the common pleco, well, the pleco in general, you have several plecos that um, aquarium hobbies actually use within, um, well, aquarium hobbies actually keep within the, the, the aquarium. Um, the common pleco um, is one of them, right? Uh, in Jamaica, the unit that we don't have the bristle nose and the leopard or the L1, L, I think L046 or whatever pleco you call it, we don't really have the availability of that, right? Um, the common pleco is used. Now, the common pleco, five things about the common pleco. Number one. The common pleco is nocturnal. Now, when you look at the common pleco in the tank, you see the common pleco sits there and it does nothing. I'll just sit there and probably stick itself to the glass. Or in some tanks, you might find if you, ha you do have places for it to actually stick its head, like a cave or like a, you know something in which you can actually hide, it will hide, right? It's nocturnal. It actually rests during the day, but it actually get active during the night okay and that leads to my second thing that you should know about common pleco now the common pleco is like a little leech it's like a little parasite to especially fish that have flat sides like the discus and the severum and the um and some goldfish and and you know fish like that will have the flat side what it does is that if you're not feeding it properly when these fish do sleep in the night uh, yes fish do sleep right what it will do it will actually suck the slime off the fish and in instance where you actually have like probably a two inch or a two inch pleco in your tank and the guppy and the molly and the sotel is in your tank it will actually suck these fish the slime of these fish and sometimes your fish might get missing because in sucking these small fish the fish actually go down the throat they are vegetarian yes but they need the nutrients from this slime or proper feeding to keep healthy so it come down to number three factors about important fact that you should know about your pleco one we learn that pleco is nocturnal. Two, we learn that it will suck the slime off your fish to death. Number three, although it's not considered a cichlid, uh, this fish actually helps to nurture its young uh, to a particular stage in its development. That means you will see the pleco actually becoming defensive to um, other fish that may come near the nest or should i say the cave in which it actually lay its egg and the eggs have actually you know hatch okay lead to number four number four important thing you should know about pleco is that uh the pleco have a something like a exoskeleton um out exterior but it's not really exoskeleton it's just that it's very tough right and the most of the the pleco i would say probably about between 60 to 75 percent of the inside of the pleco is pure fat right uh, and that's one of the reasons why it's so i call it now it's so flexible in the water it, it swims very fast and it's you know it's, it's robust right but it, most of it is fat right so you wouldn't really catch a pleco and cook it because there will be nothing much to eat there's not much muscles not much meat or anything to eat off a pleco okay so lead to number five of a pleco a pleco can survive out of water for a very long time now if you have looked at my videos during the past couple of weeks you would have seen where in it i actually showed you where a tank from one of my pet shops in which I actually visit on a regular basis actually broke 
as a result it looked like an accident which leads which um festered up as a result of the the, the, the fish actually bouncing on the glass splits and the middle piece has fall off and um piece of the middle piece fall off and the fish just fall out right the only fish that survived that debacle was the pleco and speculations are that this incident occurred uh in the early morning and it wasn't until minutes to 11 in the late morning that the, um the shop was open and they discovered the pleco actually about uh between nine to ten feet away from the tank itself looking for water so the pleco can live out of water for a very long time so ladies and gentlemen the pleco that you like so much i'll give you number six as a bonus i'm probably if i can go up a little bit more i will um now the pleco is a pooping machine though the pleco will eat the entire night right and poop the entire day right so um let's say that you you put in uh some cars and some goldfish and some pleco in a very big tank you know that you need a good filtration system because that pleco poop a lot uh, I was gonna give you five, but I was gonna give you five. I give you six. Now I'm gonna give you seven. A common pleco can grow up to 36 inches long. So therefore, if you have a common pleco in a, a normal aquarium, you know, a hundred gallon with uh, probably about 18 inches to in, whatever, um, two inches wide, sorry, two feet wide or three feet wide, it, it, that fish is gonna go out that tank really soon a pleco really belongs in a pond right and i, I, I don't want to go to number 10 but i'm going to number eight um the pleco likes plants and if you have plants in your tank it will just bite it up and chew it up and probably eat some of it right so if you're going to put plants in your tank with a pleco those plants have to be sturdy now um i'm not going to go to eight, number nine or number ten if you want number nine or number ten you let me know and i'll share it with you but a common pleco is a fish that is commonly used in the aquarium hobby and a lot of persons don't know much about the common pleco so rally here everybody chris Irie, thanks for giant fish keep in jamaica you don't know Peace. <laughs>